the first type of woman that will cheat on you is a sex starved woman this is the major reason why a lot of married women today are cheating on their on their husbands because of course their husbands now leave them at home to go outside and have fun with their side chicks while leaving their wives at home sex starved and at the end of the day these women will have no choice but to cheat on their husbands so the truth is if you are a married man if you don't want to be in this situation whereby your wife will now be forced to engage in extramarital affairs with other men my advice to you is you, sh you should start helping your wife in that department else it's going to take a toll on your marriage eventually the second type of woman that will cheat on you eventually is a as an emotionally disconnected woman if you are a man and at some point you notice that, that your girlfriend or that your woman has lost feelings for you she's no longer attracted to you she no longer cares for you she's no longer like as kind and as good as she used to be to you before try as much as possible to find out why to find out what you've done to find out how you can be able to you know resolve whatever is wrong so that she can be able to go back to how she used to be with you before because if you leave things and things keep going sour and things keep going bad that woman will eventually cheat on you at some point because once a woman loses emotional connection to you trust me she no longer loves you and she'll go out there to look for your replacement and in the course of looking for your replacement she will cheat on you is a is a must she must cheat on you the third kind of woman that must cheat on you is a woman who feels that she deserves more is a woman who never appreciates your efforts these are the kind of women who always have this mentality who have this mentality that i deserve better than this guy i deserve a better guy than this guy and these girls tend to be materialistic and they tend to always come, come from poor families because it's majorly girls from poor families who have this mentality that i need to upgrade my life through a man these are the kind of girls that date for money they are the kind of girls that marry for money and when they are not getting what they want from a man they start telling themselves i deserve better and once a man who can offer them better come their way they immediately jump to that man they will not break up with you they will cheat on you first they will lose interest in you they will stop taking your calls they will stop like doing things they used to do before and at some point they will not tell you it's over between us but they must always cheat on you first so once you are with a woman who never appreciates your efforts once you are with a woman who is ungrateful always tell yourself the truth and that truth is this relationship is not going to work and take yourself out of it the worst thing you can do to yourself as a man is to be with a woman who doesn't appreciate your efforts the fourth kind of women that usually cheats is a woman who has too many male friends too many male work colleagues she's always hanging out with her male friends she's always hanging out with her male work colleagues is a huge problem and the worst part is when you tell her babe i'm not comfortable with this she will not try to make you feel guilty she will not try to emotionally manipulate you into feeling guilty into feeling bad for telling her that you're not comfortable with her having many male friends once you know that a girl have many male friends always <clears throat> put one leg first test the grounds before you commit fully in fact if i will advise you i'll tell you don't even commit at all because there's always a tendency that this girl will cheat on on you with one of those are male colleagues one of those are many male friends and you as a man you should not be comfortable with your woman having many male friends something bad could happen something could happen now i'm not saying there are not women who could have male friends and still not cheat with them but most times majority of the times girls who keep many male friends always end up at some point doing something with them so the best thing you can do for yourself is to avoid such a situation the fifth kind of girls who always cheat are materialistic girls as you all know every materialistic girl has a price tag and once that price tag is activated once that her release clause is activated 
trust me, she's going to leave you. And she's not going to leave you just like that. She's going to, first of all, start cheating on you. Because the truth is, women don't like to use what they have already until they've secured what they are going to jump into. So that girl is not going to like break up with you all of a sudden. No, she's first of all going to test the grounds with that new guy. She's first of all going to hang out with him, sleep with him. Uh, from DRZ, she will not break up with you. So there is no way a woman will meet a guy today and break up with you today. No. It's going to like take like two months. And within that two months, she must have slept over with over at his place, had you know, done one of or two things with him. Before she now realized, oh, this new guy is actually better than this, my old guy. I need to jump ship. I need to end things with this old guy. She will break up with you and jump ship. This is how women behave. Now, this may surprise you, but the next kind of woman that will cheat on you is a woman with low self-esteem. Now, how would a woman with low self-esteem cheat on you? The truth is, a woman with low self-esteem is easily carried away by words. One of the easiest ways to like, get a girl with low self-esteem to sleep with you is by making her feel good about herself. Don't forget, these girls are struggling with their self-image. They are struggling with how they see themselves. They are struggling to like accept themselves for who they are. They want actually want to like feel better about themselves. Now, if you are dating this kind of girl and you're not constantly reassuring them of your love for them, you're not constantly making them to feel good about themselves. And a guy comes all of a sudden and tells this girl the things she wants to hear. Tell her how sweet she is, how beautiful she is, how cute she is, she is. Before you know it, she becomes addicted to that guy's attention. She will not develop fondness for talking with that guy because this guy makes her feel good about herself and you don't do that for her. So she'll start liking, like engaging in conversations with this guy and eventually they'll start hanging out. Eventually, she'll start going over to his place and eventually they will sleep together. By doing so, she has not cheated on you. So if you notice that you're dating a girl who has no surface, the best thing you can always do for, the, for, the, for your relationship to survive is to always make her feel good about herself. Like this is like the easiest way to prevent this kind of girls from cheating on you. Always make them, make them to feel good about themselves. And they'll always be addicted to your attention, to having, to spending time with you and to talking with you. So that's how you make her not to go out there and mess herself up. So that's basically how you know the kind of girls that cheat on you. So that's basically it. Subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other kind of girl or type of girl that could cheat on a man or that will cheat on you or that will cheat with a man or, or on a man, drop it in the comment section. I love to hear you guys' thoughts. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Very, very important. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, of course, I'd love to see you guys in the next video. Peace.